What's up you guys, it's your boy Taking Chris and I'm back here with another video. So today I wanna to talk to you guys about taking CCMP or taking CCNA. Um, there's a lot of questions regarding if you should just go ahead and skip to CCMP or should you build your skills, be a CCNA first, and then eventually down the line, go to being a CCMP. So in this video, I'm pretty much just gonna cover my take on CCMP versus CCNA. And depending on where you are in your career, how I feel you should approach this question. So for starters, let's get into what both of these certifications are. The Cisco Certified Network Associate is a beginner slash intermediate. I feel it's more on the intermediate side, but it's a networking certification that covers the fundamentals of routing, switching, um, pretty much all network concepts within a Cisco environment. But the CCMP, on the other hand, is a Cisco Certified Network Professional. This is a certification that covers the same topics in a greater amount of depth. This certification requires a deep knowledge in enterprise routing and enterprise network design. One of the biggest differences about these certifications is that on the CCNP, you require two tests to actually become certified as a CCNP. So if you're looking for a very simple answer and you just wanna know if you can do it, technically, yes, you can. As of 2020, you are not required to take the CCNA as a prerequisite. But in my opinion, there's many reasons why you may not want to go that route and just skip the CCNA and immediately take the CCNP. So if you're interested in learning my point of view on this take as someone who was already a network engineer, someone who's already a CCNA, and I'm currently studying for my CCNP, stay tuned for this video. Here's some reasons that I feel you might want to go for CCNA first. CCNA will cover the fundamentals so you won't feel confused when breaking into CCNP topics. Everything that you learn on CCNP is assumed knowledge that you have gotten from earlier certifications like CCNA. Another reason is that most entry-level jobs are still looking for CCNA. CCNA is definitely a respectable certification in the field of network engineering. A lot of jobs still require you to have a CCNA, but if you do have a CCNP, you do look a little bit nicer to those jobs. Another reason is that honestly, getting the CCNA will help you build confidence for tackling CCNP. When you've already gotten the CCNA, you know what to expect from Cisco's exams. It kind of builds that confidence for getting CCNP. So here is when I believe that it is a good idea to skip the CCNA and go ahead and pursue CCNP. If you already have a couple years under your belt of working with Cisco environment, understanding how Cisco routing and switching, Cisco wireless, Cisco, whatever it is, if you already have a good experience and have been working with these technologies for a little bit, I would say by all means, go ahead and get a CCNP. If you can vouch for yourself and say that you understand the networking in the Cisco environment, by all means, go ahead, get that CCNP. Like the name suggests, Cisco Certified Network Professional, this is a professional level certification. And if you consider yourself to be professional and not someone that's entry level trying to break into the field, I definitely would not be against you getting a CCNP. But just understand, you really need to already have the basics down. You need to understand OSPF, you need to understand that, you need to understand STP, you need to understand everything that was already on the CCNA. If you cannot navigate your way inside of Cisco CLI, you may need to consider starting with the CCNA topics first. Back in the day when I was first studying for CCNA, a mentor told me, even if you do want to pursue CCNP without any prior experience, it would be good to learn the CCNA topics first, but you don't have to pay for the exam because the exam can be expensive. But if you have someone sponsoring that exam for you, then going ahead and taking the CCNA just to see where you are is not a bad idea. From my personal experience, I took the CCNA first. And quite frankly, I believe the CCNA set me up extremely well. The CCNA really transferred over very well to my network engineering job. Um, the things that I do, the things that I learned on the CCNA helped me to be able to be comfortable with Cisco CLI on the job. Cisco CCNA also helped me with understanding terminology that is used in the field very commonly. Having the CCNA gives you a very good understanding of what's to come in the future, especially when you're searching for the field or maybe you got your first job in the field. You kind of have a lot better of an understanding of what to expect when you have a Cisco CCNA. CCNP is definitely a certification that's going to take a little bit longer to pursue. So if you can go ahead and get that CCNA, I feel like you have a lot better chance of getting those positions that you're looking for because most of the time if you're getting a CCNA is for the reason that you are you want to be in the field of network engineering you want to be in the field of network administration so if you are skipping a CCNA that you can get in maybe six months and pursuing a certification like a CCNP that's going to take you eight months to a year you are kind of you're making it a little bit hard for yourself in the current market to be marketable 
For me, the CCNA only took two months to study for and then take the exam. So if you're anything like me and are able to really lock in and study your CCNA topic, you should be able to get that certification done in under three months. And during this time while you are studying for the exam, you need to be job searching if you don't have a job already. Don't wait till you get this certification, then start job searching. Start job searching right now. Like I said, the CCNP is a certification that's great if you have a CCNA already or if you have some experience in the network engineering field. One thing that's great about the CCNP is that it opens up doors for higher pay and greater salaries in the future. But one thing I tell everybody is to emphasize the learning aspect rather than just getting the certification. You need to really understand what it is that you are learning. Don't just go and look for the glory of having a title of CCNP. You need to actually learn the information. You need to actually be labbing. You need to actually be putting in the work. So which one of these certifications actually is gonna get you a job? Quite frankly, either one of them can get you a job. You don't have to be a CCNP to be a network engineer. There are many CCNAs that are already in the network engineering field. There are CCNPs that are only network administrators. The thing about getting a CCNP too early is that it could overqualify you for the entry level roles. And then since you don't have the experience to back it up, it could make you not qualified enough for the higher engineering roles. It's really about playing your cards right and taking it day by day, taking it one step at a time. I would definitely recommend to get the CCNA first. Most employers often look for the experience and the certifications together, not just the certification. So if you have experience and you have certifications together, that makes you a lot more marketable. It will make it a lot more likely for you to actually get a job. So that's pretty much it for this video. Um, just to recap kind of what I said, if you are new to the field of network engineering, new to the field of networking in general, IT, um, security, whatever it is, if you are new to the field, I recommend you at least learning the topics on CCNA. Um, at least trying to first get experience as a CCNA, get experience before your CCNA, even if it's a network plus that you are. Get experience before pursuing a CCNP. Um, CCNP, I don't want to say it's worthless without experience, but if you don't have experience to back it up, it won't do you as good as you would have hoped it to do. And then now you spent almost $700 on two exams and you don't have the experience to back it up, it becomes worthless. We know everybody wants to get into tech, but you guys have to play your cards right. Don't go jumping into certifications thinking that this is what's gonna help you because if you overqualify yourself too early, it's going to be that much harder to get a job. So that's it for the video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching to the end. If you are about to take a CCNA, about to take a, a CCNP, any certifications, job or certifications y'all are working on in the comments. I'm very interested to know what you guys are working on. Currently, I'm working on my CCNP. I'm gonna take that, hopefully, in the next three months, I'm gonna take that. Um, I've been a little slow on my lab end because work has picked up a little bit, but I'm excited to get the CCMP on the road. Uh, my journey's still going, so you guys drop whatever certifications y'all are working on right now. But that's it for the video, and I'm out.